Hi, Greg here from the Caddis Fly Shop, Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, I've been traveling for the last month and a half or so. Uh, I've been fishing a lot of lakes, uh, both throughout Oregon uh, and California. I've been tying a lot of different promenade and midge patterns. Easy stuff to tie, guys, but so effective. Uh, so join me. I'm going to be tying some copper tigers, you name it. All great flies for the beginning fly uh, tire, but also extremely effective flies uh, both on lakes and also in tailwaters. Um, follow along. Have a great time. I was just out fishing with my buddy Rob. You guys know him. He's the magician. Uh, great still water fisher. Great Euro nympher. You name it. He's good at it. We were out fishing on a lake and he was using this right here. The Copper Tiger. This is a size 14 Daiichi 1120. I would tie these as small as size 18s and 20s as well. I'm going to use this a little bit bigger one because uh, where I'm going, I've had some success with this. I'm going to do a little variation. I'm going to add a little bit of crystal flash to this. But okay, this is a Daiichi 1120 size 14. That's what I'm tying it in. Like I said, size 14s all the way up to 20s. This is a 332nd brass bead. I'm just using 6 aught uni thread. You could use your favorite Vivas, you could use UTC, whatever you like. And I'm going to lay a pretty good foundation all the way to that hook point, maybe even a little bit beyond. Cut that tag out of there. I'm just using copper wire. This is actually a copper brown. I love this copper brown. It's just got a little different color, but you could use copper or copper brown. Um, I'm going to tuck that wire up into that bead, and I'm going to trap it and keep it on top. Come all the way back to the front, lock that in, and then I'm going to start working touching wraps all the way back. And uh, when I get to the wire here, I could actually just use that wire to manipulate the thread to where I want it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go about almost halfway down into that. Not quite halfway down, right about to there. I'm gonna open up that thread, spin it counterclockwise. And then just nice touching wraps going forward. This is a great beginner fly, very easy to tie. Gives you good thread control, but also just focus primarily on keeping a very uniform body. Some people like to create a taper. I like my bodies to be nice and thin small profile. As I get up to that bead, I'm going to do a couple wraps there just to kind of start locking that bead in. And I'm going to go for six wraps out on seven. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, and seven right there. Perfect. You could probably even do five. Two in front, two locking wraps behind, two more behind there. Wiggle that wire out of there. Give yourself give yourself some space, you know. Okay, I'm just taking a little piece of crystal flash, just regular pearl crystal flash, just a little tiny piece. All I need is like a little piece that's about, I don't know, two inches long, three inches long. I'm literally going to tie that in on one side, like that, get it on top, one wrap. Now I'm going to fold it back on itself, just like this. Two, come, and those are just going to come right out the top. Cover that up, and I'm going to create a little thread dam here, as you can see. To get that bead locked in, and then I'm going to do a four to five whip finish turn. Two, three, four, five, lock all that in. A little drop of head cement or some zappa gap or something right there. And the crystal flash here is just a little air bubble. As these midges, chrominids, as they're coming to the surface, there's a little air bubble that's bringing them. And I'm just going to literally, small, just probably the back of uh, where the bend begins, right about here. Just snap that off. And that's literally the fly right there, guys. A little bit of crystal flash, that's just a little wing case, or a little air bubble is really what it is, or you could tie it without. 
Um, give these a shot, size 14s to 20s. This is the Copper Tiger, with or without the Crystal Flash. A great fly. Um, if I go to Pyramid Lake this winter, this is definitely going to be in my box. Have a great day.